This is the FFR Trading Market Minute. And again, uh, this is the daily candlestick chart of the SPY, uh, which we track week to week here. Uh, here's the target, the upside target I set for the week, uh, right around that 586 uh, level and change. I guess that I, I had it at probably 586, uh, 586.50, it looks like. Uh, I think we got as high as, uh, we got a little over 586 on the open. Market came all the way back down and kind of filled the gap uh, from the open to yesterday's close there found some support there and it's about midway uh, midway point through the to the range here uh, the rsi has crossed above the moving average here uh, what that means is if uh, today is thursday if tomorrow they're able to take out today's high then we should see this target and beyond um, the next target i've got to the upsides all the way up here at, at 600. i don't expect we're going to get that next week but that is the next target and then my target end of the year target is up here at 610. all right so i do expect that we should uh we may be setting up for some divergence here if you look all right so we did make a new high today the oscillator is uh, at this point is not going to be following that that new high so uh, we could see a pullback the next support is going to be, you know, down here. Uh, you've got some support and you've got the 20 period moving average there. So that would be a target to the downside uh, initially here. Uh, again, the upside target is there and then beyond. Not much happening on the economic calendar. Wednesday, you've got the Fed's beige book at two o'clock. Uh, probably the bigger news will be the global manufacturing PMI and services PMI on Thursday. Friday, you do have durable goods, Michigan consumer sentiment. Hope that helps. Have a great rest of your trading week. We'll see you back next week in the FFR Trading Market Minute.